guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna to be talking about five ways to stay motivated during this school year and I know that this is so hard and it seems all nice in theory when I tell you these things but I promise that these things can actually help you stay motivated and actually help you push through till the end so Without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. The first thing that I have to tell you about, number one, is going to be rest is key. The Lord made a Sabbath day for a reason. He rested on the seventh day because after all that work, you gotta chill out for some time. And that's the same philosophy with us as well. We can't be going, 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 you know, for months and months on end. Like we have to have some rest. And one of the things that I used to do in high school and people used to make fun of me for it, I used to take mental health days and it sounds kind of ridiculous. Like I don't struggle with anything mental health related or whatever, but I took mental health days because for my mental health and so that I stayed sane and stayed caught up in my work and everything, I would skip school, I would skip work, whatever it is that I had going on that day, and I would take a day off. You can definitely tell that you need a mental health day when you're crying before school because that's what used to happen to me, and that's when I knew a mental health day was needed. So not only do we get mental health days occasionally, but make sure there's one day out of your week that can be a Sabbath day where you can rest Mine is gonna be Saturday this upcoming semester, so please make sure that you have a day like that for yourself so that you can give your brain a break and do things that you want to do. <laughs> Number two is to write down some goals and put them where you can see them. So I actually have a vision board that is packed away right now, but I have a vision board and I put four goals on it and I'll just tell you what they are. The first one was travel to a new state. Little did I know I would move to a new state. Then I had work on some emotional healing. Then I had just some social media goals for the last two. So those are the goals that I have and I hang them up on this wall right here so that every morning I can wake up, I can look at my goals and know what I'm doing for the day. Obviously the goals aren't just like, you know, your calendar or anything, but it is a good way to give you some direction so you at least know your purpose and what you're doing it for. I think that's essential for anybody, whether that's with your school, work, church, whatever it may be, making sure that you know what your goals are, why you're doing what you're doing, and you display that somewhere so you can see it is a good reminder. Number three is having people around you to encourage you and keep you accountable is what's going to keep you going. And one of my friends actually gave me this advice before I moved here because I told her that all this change would be a lot for me, obviously moving to a new state, then moving out of my family's house and just all these different things. I'm not the best with change, so I knew it would be difficult, but her advice to me was to have people in my dorm room around me in where I'm gonna be living to encourage me when I actually do feel down, when I do feel sad and unmotivated. And I think that applies to you guys as well, not just me, but that applies to all of us is we were created for community. We weren't created to do life by ourselves. So there is no way that I could get through any stressful season, school year, whatever it may be, without some friends cheering me on. That's just the way life works. So make sure that you have that support system. That's what I love to call the people that are my girls that are gonna be praying for me and encouraging me is my support system. And you guys can totally have that too, whether you're a girl or a boy, whatever. You guys need those people in your life. Next one kind of seems random and you wouldn't expect this to be a good idea, but number four is change your routine. And this can help because I feel like during the school year, we can just wake up and get ready for the day and 
eat breakfast and then go to school and just like our routine and it gets very mundane especially in the months like January and February are the worst months for me that's when I feel the most drained it's so hard to get out of bed but when you change up your routine and do things a little bit differently it keeps things interesting and it keeps you excited so whether that's just changing up your actual like morning routine something that I like to do is spending my Jesus time in different places whether that's like going hammocking because I like to go hammocking or going to a park or going to a coffee shop just trying to mix things up so that I don't get bored and that I don't get stuck in the same thing that I'm constantly doing that I think is a good idea for you guys. Whatever your routine looks like and the things that you do every day, change it up a little bit, mix it up, spice it up, and I assure you it'll help you out. Number five is make time to do things that you enjoy doing. And let me explain this for a little bit because when we're going to school, not a lot of people even like school. So it's hard for them to continue to study and read and do all of those things when they don't really enjoy it. And a lot of people don't really like working and maybe they're not in a job that they like for right now and stuff like that. So it's hard when you have to do things that you don't want to do, but you have to because you're an adult now or you're a high school student and you just gotta do those things, whatever the case may be for you. However, we have to make time for the things that make us happy, the things that we enjoy. And for me, that would be Definitely making YouTube videos, that's something I want to keep doing when I'm in college, of course, is making YouTube videos, creating content, all of those things, and whatever that looks like for you, whether that's going out in nature, or painting something, or playing sports, or whatever you're interested in, make sure you have the time to do that. You have to create that time, because we can say, oh, I'll do that this weekend, and then this weekend comes and you can't, and you just gotta make that time, schedule it, protect it, so that you can do that. Because not only is it good for your mental health, but it's good to take care of yourself and keep yourself motivated throughout the school year. So, I hope you're motivated, and if you need to, you can watch this video during the school year to help you out. But, I thought it'd be a good back to school video for you guys, so that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do this for you. So, that's it. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye, guys!